This video is to demonstrate high voltage when the uh, humidity is extremely high. I just checked the weather app on my phone. It is currently 66 degrees with 90% humidity. Now normally I can't get anything to work, but uh, these, these two I can show something. Now the reason I put this one together, uh, you notice my brushes here on the bottom, those are the carbon fiber brushes that Lid Motor has uh, shown in some of his videos. On top here I have just a piece of soft leather, this is a medicine bottle, and over here is my electrics, electroscope. And notice the leaves are parting, so the uh, carbon fiber brushes are, are picking up the charge and it, it does show that it is generating some high voltage. Okay, and let me show you another one. Okay, this is my homemade Van de Graaff. And you'll notice that it looks a little different than most. Uh, I've got the, the band running horizontal. And uh, these, these little mylar strips on top of the dome here act, act as an electroscope. And you can see that they'll, uh, as they take a charge, they'll separate. From, from that dome. So it is it is creating a charge. Now this this tin that I'm using for the dome is magnetic so I'm going to clip a lead to it and let's turn it back on again. And you'll notice the Franklin's bell are, are ringing pretty well. So with 90% humidity, I can still get some of my demonstrations to work. In case you decide you want to try to make one of these yourself, I, I came across some things I thought, thought made it a, a very simple little project. This is just a Radio Shack motor. And notice on the rotor, I put a little piece of this... Uh, flexible fuel hose that I picked up at the at the hardware store. I clipped just a very tiny piece of it and put it at the end. Then if you take uh, some of this plumber's Teflon tape and just uh, wrap it around like I did right there. That's all there is on the motor side. It's just tape wrapped right over the uh, the rotor shaft with that little little piece of fuel hose. Now these were a couple of gems I also found at the hardware store. This is a uh, an aluminum post bolt. The uh, the end screws off and uh, makes for a real nice little axle. This is a nylon spacer that uh, I picked up at the hardware store. So it just sits over that and uh, makes for for a very nice roller there. Um, for my brushes, I found these smoking screens, and uh, I trimmed the sides off of it, made it made it more rectangular. But that's what I'm using for brushes on my Van de Graaff, and then of course the little candy tin. Okay, so there's the uh, the inside, and you can see the aluminum binding to uh, post with the uh, the nylon spacer. Uh, you can see how I placed the brushes in there, and uh, and of course this side. And uh, these end pieces are just three quarter inch PVC that I, I cut a short length and then cut it in half to be able to uh, to mount all this in here. So that's my homemade Van de Graaff, and uh, it will work in 90 degree or 90 percent humidity. And I just found that, that real exciting. So, thank you for watching.